Hey guys, hey guys, I'm back again. Let's continue on where we left off from the previous part as far as the information on the neck. Okay, um, like I was saying, let me just repeat this real quick. I know that I, I repeat myself a lot in some of my videos, but you know what? It's like the Bible says, the book of Deuteronomy, the law of reputation. That's how we get to learn things, okay? And I want to repeat it because I know this is very important and I'm just starting off the video so I'm going to have plenty of time. Wall thickness on your neck of your case is so important because when you seat your bullet into it, if one side of the wall is thinner than the other, the bullet when it seats into it, it's going to be a little looser on that side. So when the primer gets ignited by the firing pin, and that bullet tip comes out, enters the rifling, right out of the chamber there, starts gripping the lands of the, of the rifling. As soon as the bullet comes off, it's gonna get looser or it's gonna loosen up as it leaves the, the neck of the case from the side of the wall thickness that's thinner. That's gonna affect your accuracy. So there's a lot of guys out there that since they like slicing their whole little the whole neck they size this whole part they completely run it through their neck die and they size the whole thing i don't bench rest shooters don't do that because we know that we don't have to do that and it avoids having to neck turn your cases and i'm going to show you guys how you do that okay that's why i don't have a neck turning tool and i've never neck turned my cases and i get um let me show you real quick. And these are the type of grooves that I get when I go to the range. Okay? These are the type of grooves. Look at that group there. That one. Look at this one. Okay? Those are the type of grooves that you can get. And I, don't, I do not, I don't neck turn my, my necks. Okay? Now, some guys like to do that. They like to have the whole bullet real tight on the neck. I don't. And I don't neck turn it either. Okay, I'll tell you why. What I do, I only size on my neck 40 thousandths of an inch. Which is like, if you wanna picture it right now in your head without, I'm gonna take out my caliper now, but just so you'll know. Figure probably, I think it's like real close to like 1 16th of an inch on the very top of the neck. That right there, if my neck for whatever reason is not, doesn't have the same wall thickness all the way around, which they should because they're pretty good brass. It's either Lapua or, or Norman. They, they pay attention to this stuff at the factory. Okay, because you're paying for it. But some of them sometimes they're not, they're not consistent. I admit it. But anyways, to avoid that, having to be neck turning my necks and all that and getting into the little pilot and checking on the run I gauge how thick it is, if the needle moves because it went through one side of the neck and it went like that because it's thinner one side and the other. I don't do that. We bench rest shooters, a lot of time what we do is we just get and size like about 40,000, let me see if I can get pretty close. 40 thousandths of an inch. Ah, there's 41 there. Look how thick that is. Okay? That's how thick it is. I'm sure maybe on the video it might look real thick, but just so you guys have an idea. It's comparing it to the caliper, it's hardly nothing. Look how little that is. That's what I'm gonna be resizing right now in front of you guys. 40 thousandths of an inch. That's all I resize on my neck, just to barely hold the bullet tip on there without really the bullet tip being all loose. Okay, and then what you do to take precautions, I have a box that I already have reloaded. See, this is how we end, this is the end product. This is what you guys are gonna see when we're finished with this 100 cases. Okay, there it says, okay, Barget. I'm using Barget powder, 42 grains. Okay, and um, I sat this uh, bullets, ten thousands off the lands. You see that there? Ten thousands off the lands. My overall case uh, cartridge length was 
two inches, 0.188. And then what I do, a little trick, I put these little napkins in between because if you guys know, on these little boxes, if you don't do that and you start shaking them around, it's like a freaking uh, land maraca. You know, like the maracas. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to have these tips moving back and forth like a maraca. Okay, you don't want that. So what I do is I put these little napkins in between. See how they look? And then when I close it, it keeps it from shaking. See, no noise. Like that, when I put it in my car, and I go to the range, whatever, any bump in the street, you gotta take all these type of precautions. Any bumps in the street, whatever, pothole, whatever, you don't have those boxes in the back, clack, 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 rolling. When you get there, you know, especially if you're only sizing uh, 40 thousandths of an inch on your neck, like the very, very little, little, little edge on the, the beginning of the neck. When you get there, your run out is gonna be unbelievable. Remember this terminology, your run out, Run out is the misalignment of the bullet when it goes straight in the case. It could be a little bit this way, that way, whatever. You want that thing to be really straight with the axis line of when it's gonna get fired and it's gonna enter the lands of your rifle and come out of the barrel. You wanna have that bullet, that, that cartridge, as straight as possible. To the eye, you won't notice it. But when you put it on something like this, you will see the, um, that it's not aligned, okay? Um, so right now we're gonna get started, just so you guys can see um, how it's done, okay? I got my Lehman neck die. I think this die cost me like about 40 bucks or maybe less than that. It does great for what I need. Those 40 thousands of an inch, the very first little end, uh, edge of the neck mouth where it starts it does it perfectly with minimum run I mean like one so I'm gonna go ahead and install my die I have it on the uh, quick release bushing from my Lee Challenger kit press beautiful press okay and I don't know some guys out there might, might be like oh you know Lee press that's you know the Challenger one that's Dude, I, I made some rounds with this little press with no run out, okay? It's, it's unreal. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start doing a few. Um, we're gonna get started right now with, um, let me get this, let me try this real quick. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do the first one. Let me see if I can fix the camera. Probably gonna be out of the picture for a while, guys. But this is for the video, it's not for, it's for me to be in it. Let me see so you guys can see that. Okay, let me see if we get a little closer. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go in. I don't know if you could see it there. Let's see. See? The width, that's four that's forty thousands of an inch. That little bit there, let me show it to you guys. That little bit there, see how how there we go. See how oh, if I can get it close you can see it really good. See all the way around? That's all I do. If I would have done the whole neck, you see that there on the top that you see where I where I did the neck, it would have been in the whole length all the way down. I don't do that. Figure out, that's why I usually say, I think it's like a sixteenth of an inch on a ruler. Just the very top, you see that? Okay, now we're gonna check how straight this thing is. All right, all right guys, I want you guys to see this. This is pretty nice. Really straight. It's got one thousands run out on the neck. 
I want you guys to see this. Let me get it really close. Okay. Let me see. Oh, really cloudy. Let me see if I can get it right to where we gotta be. Right there. All right, let me show you guys this. Okay, I'm gonna spin this around and you're gonna see it move. See that? I just did a complete revolution, a complete circle. You see how it barely moves? Barely one little, little, little tiny line. That's one thousand. That tells me that this case the mouth on it is extremely, extremely, extremely round, okay? That tells me that, that this neck die is doing some very good work, okay? One thousands, as far as run out goes, that is beautiful, okay? That is really, really nice. Okay, so um, that, one's, that one's done. Let's go ahead and do another one. Make sure, yep, that one's done. Let's go ahead and do another one. All right, I'm gonna come up. Yep, same thing. Okay, let's check it. Okay. Really nice. And that's 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 what it that's how it is. Okay, very simple. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this hundred cases. Um, basically, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna have them already neck sized. And then the next step will be to put the primers on the back, all right? Take it easy.